أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ويزيد الله الذين اهتدوا هدى والباقيات الصالحات خير عند ربك ثوابا خير عند ربك ثوابا وخير مردا أفرأيت الذي كفر بآياتنا وقال لأوتين مالا وولدا أطلع الغيب أم اتخذ عند الرحمن عهدا كلا سنكتب ما يقول ونمد له من العذاب مدا ونرثه ما يقول ويأتينا فردا Sadaqallahul Azim. These are ayat from Surah Maryam. The ayah number 76, 77 and 78. In the ayah number 76, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَيَزِيدُ اللَّهُ الَّذِينَ اهْتَدَوْ هُدَى Allah increase in guidance those who walk aright الَّذِينَ اهْتَدَوْ those who follow the truth Allah will increase their hidayah and this ayah the ayah number 76 comes after the ayah number 75 wherein Allah Almighty talked about the disbelievers, those who follow, who follow misguide, the misguidance, and that Allah will increase and extend their circumstances, meaning Allah will increase their misguidance. قُلْ مَنْ كَانَ فِي الضَّلَالَةِ Say, whoever was in error, فَلْيَمْدُدْ لَهُ الرَّحْمَنُ مَدَّى Let the most gracious extend his circumstances. Let Allah give him more time. Let Allah give him more wealth. Let Allah give him more child, more, more children. فَلْيَمْدُدْ لَهُ الرَّحْمَنُ So his choice was for misguidance. He was following misguidance. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will increase him in wealth and in children, and in time, he will follow that misguidance more uh, more than uh, ever before. So, thus Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala increasing his misguidance. قُلْ مَنْ كَانَ فِي الضَّلَالَةِ فَلْيَمْدُدْ لَهُ الرَّحْمَنُ This was his choice and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will increase his misguidance, will open him the way because he wants to follow that way. So in the meaning of this ayah, the ayah number 75, we can read that Allah increase them in their, increase their misguidance. Then after that ayah, now Allah talks about the believers and that he will increase them uh, in guidance so it's the opposite so we can say that it depends on the human being himself if he choose the guidance Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will open the way before him and will increase him in that the guidance will encourage him but if he choose to be disgraceful toward Allah not to give thanks to him, to deny him, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will warn him, will show him the hidayah, the truth, plainly. But after a while, if he is persistent in his choice, then Allah will open the way before him and increase his misguidance. So these ayah, the 75 and 76, shows us that the outcome 
depends on the choice of the human being. The human being himself, he uh, makes his choice with his free will. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala opened the way before him. Similarly, Allah said, Inna hadaynahu sabila, we have showed him the way, Inna shakiran, whether to be grateful to Allah, to give thanks to Him, to acknowledge Him, and to follow the truth. This is the way of Hidayah, the way of Shukr. Imma Shakiran wa Imma Kafura. And we opened that second way before Him, the way of misguidance. So the choose is in the hand of the human being himself whether he choose the way of shukr to give thanks to his creator to acknowledge him or to follow the falsehood if he insist in following falsehood although Allah the Almighty showed him and made him understand the truth then let Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala increase his misguidance because this is his choice and he want to go in that way and his outcome will be accordingly verse but the believers but the believers who follow the way of hidayah who follow the truth Allah will increase their guidance. وَيَزِيدُ اللَّهُ الَّذِينَ اَهْتَدَوْ هُدَى Likewise, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said يَا أَيُّهَا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا إِن تَتَّقُوا اللَّهَ يَجْعَلْ لَكُمْ فُرْقَانًا O who you believed. If you fear Allah, if you protect yourself against the anger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, against his punishment if you observe your duty toward him follow his commandment and abstain and avoid his for, uh, whatever he had forbidden then Allah will give you Allah will grant you will provide for you Furqan a criterion you will be able to see more truth more evidence, more proof, more ayat of Allah, more signs of the Creator. So your understanding will be increased. Thus Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala increased the hidayah of the believers. He increased their belief. وَيَزِيدُ اللَّهُ الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا هُدَى And there is ayah, something like this, Allah says, وَإِذَا مَا أُنزِلَتْ سُورَةٌ فَمِنْهُمْ مَنْ يَقُولُ أَيُّكُمْ زَادَتْهُ هَذِهِ إِيمَانًا And whenever there comes down an ayah, وَإِذَا مَا أُنزِلَتْ سُورَةٌ Or a surah, a chapter from Quran, فَمِنْهُمْ مَنْ يَقُولُ some of them says some of them say man yaqulu ayyukum zadatuhu hadhihi imana which of you has had his belief increased with this or by this ayyukum zadatuhu hadhihi imana they was they were making fun of the ayat of allah when Ever they have listened, they have received an ayat from Quran, they were speaking each other and saying, which of you has had his belief increased? وَإِذَا مَا أُنزِلَتْ سُورَةٌ فَمِنْهُمْ مَنْ يَقُولُ أَيُّكُمْ زَادَتُ هَذِهِ إِيمَانًا Allah says, فَأَمَّا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا فَزَادَتْهُمْ إِيمَانًا Those who believed, those who followed the truth, the ayat of Allah will increase their faith, will increase them in faith. 
And they are rejoicing because of the ayat of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this is the nature of Qur'an which contains the ayat of Allah. Qur'an itself benefit, it's beneficial for those who follow the truth, who look for the truth. If you are ready, if we are ready to confront the truth, to understand it, to know the reality of this life and the meaning of this life, if we said before to our Creator that if He shows us the truth and make us understand it, then we will surely follow it. If we are in such case, if we are ready within ourselves and promised our Creator, then Qur'an will benefit us because it will show us the truth and it will openly and plainly explain it so then we will and we will be understand it and follow the truth Allah said وَنُنَزِّلُ مِنَ الْقُرْآنِ مَا هُوَ شِفَاءٌ وَرَحْمَةٌ لِلْمُؤْمِنِينَ We are sending down through Qur'an وَنُنَزِّلُ مِنَ الْقُرْآنِ مَا هُوَ شِفَاءٌ Whatever named cure, healing, shifa we are just sending from Qur'an. But for whom? وَنُنَزِّلُ مِنَ الْقُرْآنِ مَا هُوَ شِفَاءٌ وَرَحْمَةٌ and mercy we are sending through Qur'an mercy and healing مَا هُوَ شِفَاءٌ وَرَحْمَةٌ لِلْمُؤْمِنِينَ For those who believed لِلْمُؤْمِنِينَ Iman means you have that confident about the truth. You convinced yourself about the truth and reached that level of tranquility. This is Iman. It's not just a approving others, just following others without understanding it. You cannot reach that confident through, through uh, verifying the others, approving the others, just tasdeeq without understanding it. So Iman comes from the root of Amn, which means to be confident, to be secure, to be in safe, to be sure, certain. So you have to follow the way of reasoning and use all of your faculties granted by the Almighty in order to, in order to reach that level. So a man who follows the ilm, the truth, like Allah said, وَلَا تَقْفُ مَا لَيْسَ لَكَ بِهِ عِلْمٍ do not follow anything which you have not have knowledge about it. If you have not knowledge about it, do not follow it. Do not say, I believed in it without understanding it. Make sure and make it plain and manifest for yourself. Make your research, think about it. Then ask Allah to, to make it easy for you to understand. You have a creator, you have a Lord, so you, you are not just by yourself trying to do something. So you should not fail while your Lord over there looking at you, seeing you in every single moment. So he will see your intention, he will see what do you try to achieve then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will guide you, will make you success. You will be succeed after your attention and after your effort. Thus, a man, a human being, can reach that confidence, that safety, that security in his soul and be and can be a believer. And those people, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, talk whenever He says Amanu, He talks about them, not about those who 
follows the other the others without understanding without realizing the issue some arabs in the period of time of prophet muhammad peace be upon him they believed and they said we are believers we have believed allah said qalat al arab amanna some arabs said that they believed qul say to them lam tu'minu you didn't believe yet walakin qulu aslamna you can say we have submitted just submitted do not say we have believed walamma yadkhul al iman fi qulubikum iman didn't enter your hearts yet walamma yadkhul al iman fi qulubikum so the iman enters the heart of the human being after a while and in that period of time he makes his research he he looks for the truth he looks for the evidence for the proofs try to understand it compare it with some other knowledge so at the end he comes to that moment where he say there is no way other than accepting this truth it's impossible to deny it that confidence we have to reach and that iman we have to reach wa yazidu allahu alladhina ihtadaw huda and those people which allah subhanahu wa ta'ala named them believers those who believed quran benefits them quran brings them to them the shifa the cure from allah the healing and mercy وَنُنَزِّلُ مِنَ الْقُرْآنِ مَا هُوَ شِفَاءٌ وَرَحْمَةٌ لِلْمُؤْمِنِينَ and those people whenever they read an ayah from Quran their iman their belief increase their confidence increase their security their safety in their soul increase by every ayah from Quran Allah said وَإِذَا مَا أُنزِلَتْ سُورَةٌ نَظَرَ بَعْضُكُمْ إِنَا عَبَضَ بَعْضُهُمْ إِلَا بَعْضَ هَلْ يَرَاكُمْ مِنْ أَحَدٍ ثُمَّ صَرَفُوا فَأَمَّا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا فَزَادَتْهُمْ إِيمَانًا وَهُمْ عَلَى رَبِّهِمْ يَتَوَكَّلُونَ The ayat of Allah, the signs of Allah, the verses of Allah, the verses of Quran, it, they increase in iman, in belief, those who uh, believed in them. Those who follow the truth and those who follow the way of Hidayah, which we have talked about them. At the end of that ayah, Allah said, Wala yazidu zalimina. This Quran do not increase those whom name Allah named them wrongdoers, unjust ones those who do not acknowledge the truth even when Allah makes them understanding it very closely very plainly they insist denying the truth overlooking the truth they are the unjust ones they are they are, they are wrong against the truth they are wrongdoers Allah says, this Qur'an do not increase the wrongdoers, the unjust one, who is most ready to deny the truth and he is not ready to accept it, then Qur'an will not avail him anything, will not benefit him anything. The truth, the signs, anything will not avail him anything. Allah said, وَمَا تُغْنِي الْآيَاتُ وَالنُّذُرُ عَنْ قَوْمٍ لَا يُؤْمِنُونَ In the ayat of Allah, قُلْ انْظُرُوا مَاذَا فِي السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ Say, look at the sky, look at the heavens and the earth. Many ayat of Allah, many signs of the Creator. 
what they can avail for that one who do not want to accept them, who closed himself, who do not look for the truth, who do not want to learn the reality, the deniers. The ayat of Allah, even in the skies, cannot avail him anything. So firstly, first of all, the human being himself should prepare himself for the truth, should speak with his Lord and say, should promise him, I want to amend myself, I want to change, I want to learn why I am here. I want to learn the meaning of this life. I will put my effort to learn this. Please help me and please make me understand the truth. Please convin me, make me convinced about them. If I convinced, I will accept it. I will not deny it. This is the first uh, requirement in Iman and to be a believer, to look after the, after the truth. Otherwise, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will increase his misguidance. Because in every step, whenever Allah shows him a reality, he denies it. He wastes them. This is the real uh, waste. Allah said, وَكَذَلِكَ نَجْزِي مَنْ أَسْرَفَ وَلَمْ يُؤْمِنْ بِآيَاتِ رَبِّهِ Indeed, we will recompense, we will chastise, we will punish him who wastes the ayat of Allah, who wastes the signs of the Almighty. وَكَذَلِكَ نَجْزِي مَنْ أَسْرَفَ وَلَمْ يُؤْمِنْ بِآيَاتِ رَبِّهِ if the reality comes down to you, Allah shows you the ayah, the signs, and makes you understanding it, then if you deny them, this the real waste. You waste them. You do not value them. You do not give them that importance which they deserve, the ayat of Allah. وَلَا يَزِيدُ الظَّالِمِينَ إِلَّا خسارة. And so the ayat of Allah, the signs of Allah, the verses of Quran do not increase those wrongdoers but their misguidance, but their loss. وَلَا يَذِيلُ الظَّالِمِينَ إِلَّا خَسَارًا Whenever they read ayat of Allah, their misguidance will, be, will, will increase, so their loss will increase. وَلَا يَزِيدُ الظَّالِمِينَ إِلَّا خَسَارًا وَيَزِيدُ اللَّهُ الَّذِينَ اهْتَدَوْ هُدَى So Allah increase guidance of those who walk aright, follow the truth, sincere in themselves. And Allah says in the rest of this ayah وَالْبَاقِيَاتُ الصَّالِحَاتُ خَيْرٌ عِنْدَ رَبِّكَ ثَوَابًا and the righteous deeds والباقيات, that lost والباقيات الصالحات خير عند ربك they are better with your Lord so Allah says whatever you try to gather in this life wealth, children many things belong to this life you should know that a righteous deeds which you did by yourself or with the others but by your intention, intentionally for the most gracious, for your cre creator it should be with that intention otherwise it cannot be righteous deeds if you did it for the others without seeking the Pleasant, pleasant of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, pleasant of Allah the Almighty, then it will not be a righteous deed. So Allah said, as salihat, it should be righteous. So it will be baqiyat, that lust. Wal baqiyatu salihatu khayrun And this rule 
is valid for every deed your prayer your fasting anything in your life if you do it for the sake of Allah then you will be rewarded for that and it is a righteous good deeds be sure that that righteous deed should be described in uh, the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or in the practice of the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him otherwise you can you cannot invent somehow a deed uh, and say a work and say I will do this for the sake of Allah as a ibadah as a worship then I will accept I will expect from Allah a reward it will not be valid and a amal as salih a righteous deed first of all should be for the sake of Allah Azza wa Jal and should be demanded by him should be described by him and surely should be practiced by his messenger which Allah whom who Allah uh, whom Allah said about لَقَدْ كَانَ لَكُمْ فِي رَسُولِ اللَّهِ أُسْوَةٌ حَسَنًا Indeed, there was a beautiful example in the Prophet, in the Messenger of Allah, for you. So, if that action is not found in the practice of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, then it will not mean anything. You cannot name it amal salih, a righteous deed, deeds. If it did, if it's not found in Quran, and even in the practice of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, then you cannot follow that way. This is innovation, bid'ah, and we should avoiding avoid them. Well, baqiyatu salihat. And that righteous deeds which last خَيْرٌ عِنْدَ رَبِّكَ They are better with your Lord. خَيْرٌ عِنْدَ رَبِّكَ This ayah likes the ayah Allah said قُلْ بِفَضْلِ اللَّهِ وَبِرَحْمَتِهِ فَبِذَلِكَ فَلْيَفْرَحُوا هُوَ خَيْرٌ مِمَّا يَجْمَعُونَ Say to them You should rejoice with the mercy of Allah and with the bounty of Allah بِفَضْلِ wa birahmati with the bounty of Allah and with the mercy of Allah هُوَ خَيْرٌ مِمَّا يَجْمَعُونَ This is better than whatever they try to gather in this life they try to have in this life from wealth and children and many worldly things. The scholars said that the bounty of Allah, the grant, the biggest grant of Allah is the book of Allah Azza wa Jal, the fadl of Allah. And the mercy of Allah is the practice of his messenger, the example of his messenger, which named Sunnah, uh, his practice. Allah says, with these two you should rejoice because these two brings you the eternity brings you the real happiness in this life and in the hereafter so you should be happy with these two and by these two we can practice our religion we can understand the reality, the truth, and we can have that hope for the hereafter. That after this life, we will begin for a life, an endless life, without any grief, without any problem, and without uh, uh, dying. That life, the hereafter, is our goal, our objective, and we can reach that goal with Quran, with the word of Allah. So we have to, if we believe, we have to rejoice 
with it. وَالْبَاقِيَاتُ الصَّالِحَاتُ And the righteous deeds that last are better. خَيْرٌ عِنْدَ رَبِّكَ Are better with your Lord. ثَوَابًا For reward. As a reward. If you think about it. As a reward. الباقيات الصالحات better than anything in this life. And وخير مردا and for resort means that outcome with which the human the its doers will achieve in the hereafter. So Allah says you have to focus on the righteous deeds in this life. Because whatever you have in this life, you will lose them all. And this is a reality. Whatever you have, you will lose them one day. But the righteous deeds that last, uh, that you will not lose them, you will take them with you. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will reward you for them. أقول قولي هذا وأستغفر الله العظيم لي ولكم ولسائر المؤمنين. ربنا لا تؤاخذنا إن نسينا وأخطأنا. ربنا ولا تحمل علينا إصرا كما حملته على الذين من قبلنا. ربنا ولا تحملنا ما لا طاقة لنا به. واعف عنا واغفر لنا وارحمنا. أنت مولانا فانصرنا على القوم الكافرين والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته